All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the welterweight division, Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford, and Jerron Ennis, and what Chris Van Heerden had to say about the matchups. And it is very, very interesting. Make sure you tune in, stay tuned in, and listen to it in this video. Right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're going to talk about the welterweight division. One, definitely the best division that there is in boxing, as far as the talent level, experience level, and proven and the and the proven career of the top guys in the weight division. Specifically, we're going to talk about what a co a co competitor is that the right way to say it a a uh, mutual opponent for Jerron Ennis and Errol Spence Jr. had to say about the two of them and what he had to say about Terrence Crawford. Now, before I get into that though, please make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel that you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and hit all notifications so that you can be notified of when we release more videos. All right, so Chris Van Heerden is a guy that fought both Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford uh, excuse me, and Jerron Ennis uh, in the as a welterweight. He is a, I do believe he's a South African fighter, a solid fighter, journeyman type of fighter, not somebody that is a top level, not top echelon fighter, nobody that had a had a chance to beat either Errol Spence or Jerron Ennis, right? But a guy that has been in the ring with them is, you know, was a definitely a world-class fighter. So, you know, the viewpoint that he gives and he shares on this is, I think, is something worth noting because, you know, it is better than hearing what somebody like a sparring partner has to say about it, right? Or a guy that, you know, spars with Jerron Ennis and sparred with Errol Spence Jr. This is somebody that has actually been in a real fight, really gotten hit with Errol, really had to deal with what Errol brings, really had to hit, got hit by Jerron, really had to deal with what Jerron brings. And then he also gives his input on what would happen between Jerron Ennis and uh, and Terrence Crawford. So let's go through it and then I'm gonna share my thoughts. And in the comments section, make sure you, th you share your thoughts as well. So this is it, basically. He says about Errol Spence Jr. that Errol Spence Jr. is a much harder hitter, much stronger fighter than uh, Jerron Ennis is a much heavier hitter and a much stronger fighter than Errol Spence Jr. is. And he, in the in the manner in which he said it was like pretty much there's no comparison between the two. Jerron Ennis is way, hits way harder than, uh, than Errol Spence Jr. If you listen to the tone and the way he discussed it, I want to make the assumption that he believes that Jerron Ennis would beat Errol Spence Jr., but that was not a question that came up. It was just like the guy's eyes just opened up. was like, no, man, this guy, Jerron Ennis, is just, that's a different type of guy, man. A really different type of dude, you know? And the fact that he has been in the ring with both of them and he got stopped by Errol. He didn't get stopped by Jerron Ennis, but he didn't get stopped by Jerron Ennis because he got lucky, really. Jerron Ennis came in there against Chris Van Heerden and was laying bombs on Chris Van Heerden from the very beginning. And Chris Van Heerden uh, wound up hopping up off the ropes, jumping forward and cutting it, gashing his eye open uh, before the fourth round and the fight being called a no contest. Other than that, he was not going to go the distance in that fight. Chris Van Heerden had fought Errol Spence Jr. And Errol Spence Jr. punished uh, Chris Van Heerden a lot. And, but that fight was waved off. And it didn't wind up being an actual. It was, I think it was called a TKO. But, you know, he basically was like wearing him out to the body. Hitting him up. Hitting him up top. Hit him with everything but the kitchen sink. And and I don't. I think he dropped Chris Van Heerden if I recall correctly. But. It was just a matter of just him was beating him up so bad that the referee waved it off, right? So he, so Chris Van Heerden is saying he really felt the power from Jerron Ennis a lot more than he felt it from Errol Spence Jr. Now, that is not to say, and this the reason why that is significant is because Errol Spence Jr. ain't no light, light puncher. Ter Terrence Crawford is a big puncher, but if you listen to what Sean Porter had to say when he compared those guys' power, he was saying that, that he got hit harder by 
Errol Spence Jr. than he had been hit by Terrence Crawford and that he had been hit by Keith Thurman harder than he had been hit by both of them, right? And that Keith Thurman was the big was a really, really big puncher. And everybody knows that Terrence Crawford is a big puncher because Terrence Crawford has knocked out everybody he's been in the ring with, I don't know, for the last three years, four years. Everybody he's knocked out everybody he's fought since. He's been at 147 pounds and knocked out the last several guys that he was at at 140. So nobody doubts the level of power that Terrence Crawford has. Errol Spence Jr. the same way. So in order to, for him, for for uh, Chris Van Heerden to say that, Jerron Ennis must be popping, must be packing a, a ton of power, man. And pretty much that's what Jerron Ennis has said before about when he compared himself to Errol Spence and when he compared himself to Terrence Crawford, he's like, look, man, I think I do better, everything better than them. I'm faster than them. I hit harder than them. I'm bigger than them. I'm smarter than them. The whole, pretty much, you know, the whole nine, right? And now, of course, Jerron Ennis is supposed to say that about himself, but at least now through the testimony of Chris Van Heerden as somebody that's been in the ring with at least two of them, you get this. You get a, a Jerron Ennis and one of the you know and Errol Spence, not Terrence Crawford. You get a sense that this guy's power is very, very real, man. Now, as far as what Chris Van Heerden had to say about Jerron Ennis and and uh, and Terrence Crawford, he said that he was asked specifically asked, "Who do you think will win that fight?" And he said, "Look, man, woo, Terrence Crawford is a very, very experienced fighter. He's really, really good, but." If I had to bet on it, I would say Errol's, I would say uh, Jerron Ennis because that dude's power is just so ridiculous, right? Like that's going to be very, very hard for anybody to handle. So he just off the strength of the dude's power is saying, no, man, he very well. And, and he, I, I think he also might have said the size and the strength as well. And he's picking Jerron Ennis to beat Terrence Crawford to beat Terrence Crawford off of that. So I'm telling you, man, for all the people that are out there saying that Jerron Ennis, you know, he needs to prove himself. He needs to do this and that before you believe him. Look, man, there aren't a lot of boxers. There aren't a lot of boxers that get this type of testimony about them. And when there's where people are in the ring with them and with somebody like an Errol Spence Jr. and saying, no, man, that dude right there hits a lot harder than him. And somebody that knows that 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 Jerron Ennis is a new fighter, but be so impressed with, with with what he saw with him to say, oh, man, I don't know, man. I know Terrence is really, really experienced and that's going to be an issue for Jerron. But hey, man, if it wasn't for the experience level, give me that guy. Right. And even and actually what he said is even though Terrence Crawford has that experience level. Give me that guy just because of what that guy's bringing to the table. And then if you listen to what Sean Porter said, even when Sean Porter was saying that Jerron Ennis was an, was over, when he said he was overrated, he used that phrase. But what he said was also, if you listen to like the longer explanation that he gave, he said, look, man, this guy can probably beat. He, I said, I, I wouldn't doubt that he can beat any any of the top guys. His issue was with people saying that they believe that Jerron Ennis was just going to roll through and knock these guys out and mop them like it was not like it wasn't going to be an issue. That was his problem. His problem wasn't with the notion that Jerron Ennis could actually beat Errol Spence or beat Terrence Crawford. So just I'm telling you, man, take what Chris Van Heerden says very seriously, man, and pay attention to Jerron Ennis. You know, he, he would not be the first person uh, he would not be the first person for people to speak this highly of and for people to be wrong. However, he wouldn't be the first person for people to be speaking this highly of and then be right. Right. So pay attention to it. This is very serious stuff coming up from this kid. Tremendous talent. And, you know, I certainly hope that his light gets to bright it's to shine as brightly as it can. And he gets an opportunity for these fights. So, you know, he has opportunity to prove whether or not all this stuff that's being said about him is right or not. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.